fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. A good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Forecaster Andrew Stevenson. With a look at your forecast, let's take a, take a look at the NOAA 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, which spans from April 4th to April 10th, which favors above average temperatures across the region headed in April. So if you're a fan of some warmer weather, it looks like some water, warmer weather will be on the way. Here's what's happening across the Northeast. There's a low pressure system up in Canada that's moving out towards the Atlantic that brought the rain showers yesterday. We're kind of sandwiched between that one and another low pressure system off to our off to our west that will bring a cold front through tomorrow afternoon and we're kind of dry for today outside of a couple of an isolated shower. So let's time it out in future scans. The rest of the afternoon, partly the mostly cloudy skies, maybe a stray rain shower possible, but most of the time should be dry. As we head into the night, skies should clear out overnight as high pressure builds in and drifts across the region and we should stay dry through at least the first half of the day tomorrow. And then a cold front's gonna move through the region tomorrow that's gonna bring some rain and possibly even a burst of snow to the region tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening that could put down an inch or two as it crosses but behind that cold front the rest of the time tomorrow night will be dry as an ridge of high pressure begins to build back in and that should provide for a mainly dry day on Thursday with partly cloudy skies and then we'll do it all over again Friday heading into Saturday with another system. Watch the skies tonight because we'll have a planetary alignment that will involve Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Uranus. After sunset turn your eyes towards the western sky and you will see the alignment but be quick because just after sunset, Mercury and Jupiter will drop below the horizon, so you won't be able to see those. But truth in the skies tonight, we should have partly cloudy skies. Hopefully, we'll go mainly clear skies so we can see it. Temperatures over, lows overnight will be in the lower 20s in the valleys to near 30 at the lakeshore. And now the next seven days, powered by Ultimate Satellite Solutions. Temperatures today and tomorrow in the low to mid 40s will drop down into upper 30s for Thursday and then warm back up into the lower to mid mid 50s Friday and Saturday but then our system will bring in another round of rain Friday and Saturday and like last week Saturday could feature rain wind and possibly even a couple of thunderstorms out ahead of a cold front and then we'll dry it out as we head into the head into Sunday and early next week